This may sound like an April Fool's joke. Why is a spider doesn't stick to its own web? But it's actually a scientific mystery that's been plaguing our acknologists like Bill Eberhard for years. It's a dangling loose end that's been there for a long time that we finally sort of um, wrapped up a little bit. No pun intended. Uh, well, you can take it or leave it. That's so funny. It's such a basic, you know, such a basic question. I know. It's crazy. It was a problem that everybody knew was there and um, nobody had undertaken. Until now. This month in the journal Naturwissenschaften. Danielle Briseño and Eberhard answer the question by filming spiders in the lab, in the field, and under a dissecting microscope. Both the species we worked with are, are relatively slow moving. These are orb weavers, so called because of the characteristic web. They have thick lines, so you can see the lines very easily. There have been prior attempts at this question, and one theory was that spiders don't succumb to the stick. By having an oily coating on their legs. The other idea relates to this fact. The web is actually made up of two kinds of silk. One kind is elastic and sticky. The other is inelastic and non-sticky. The only part that's sticky is the spiral. So some people decided that perhaps spiders don't get stuck in their own webs because they never ever touch the sticky portions of their web. That turns out not to be the case at all. As you can see, it is touching. Particularly during the process of constructing their web. So what's the answer? Three things. First, the way that they touch these lines is very stereotyped and, and very careful in the sense that it's always the same part of the same portion of the same leg that makes this contact. And if you look at that part of the limb, the tarsus, under a microscope, you see these. What most people would call hairs. Our acknologists call them CD. And they work something like this. Like a drip tip on a leaf of tropical plants, the last point of contact is very small as the spider's pulling away, and so the strength of the adhesion is relatively weak. Less surface area for the glue to stick to. And the last factor is that spiders do, in fact, have a... Coating, which even reduces the adhesion even farther. So the coating, which was the conventional wisdom, is to some degree true, I That's guess. That's right. The idea these guys had was correct. By the way, Eberhard and Briseño found this out by washing spider legs and finding that the clean, hairy legs were more likely to stick to the web. So while this puzzle was untangled... We really only worked out the answer to this question for one kind of sticky line, and there's still another kind of sticky line for which it's a complete mystery. So that's still up in the air. For Science Friday, I'm Flora Lichtman.